Hey, what's up, guys? Adam here with TKTC. Did you hear the new idea about how the pyramids were built? Listen to this. Archaeologists have claimed that they have discovered a unique hydraulic lift system at Egypt's iconic Pyramid of Djoser. Think about it. Ancient Egyptians are famous for their pioneering and mastery of hydraulics through canals for irrigation purposes and barges to transport huge stones. Mainstream teachings tell us that the pharaohs used forced labor to erect the pyramids, but with forced labor involving many thousands of workers, it's hard to understand what their motivation would have been. The new theory is presented in a new study led by Xavier Landreau, president of Paleotechnic, an archaeological research institute in Paris, France. The researchers studied historical records and satellite photos of the area to interpret the features that support their argument. They identified that the steppe pyramid's internal architecture is consistent with a hydraulic elevation mechanism never reported before. Ancient architects likely raised the stones from the pyramid center in a volcano fashion, using the sediment-free water. While the shaft at the center of the pyramid was already known about, researchers now present a new theory regarding its purpose. Firstly, they point to Gisser el Mudir, an ancient stone structure less than a mile to the west of the Pyramid of Djoser. The function of Gizar el Mudir has never been certain, but the researchers say it may have acted as a dam, collecting rainfall and directing it towards the pyramid through a system of pipes. Once the underground water reached the center of the pyramid, it flushed upwards through the central shaft like magma in a volcano. This powerful jet of water would have pushed up a floating elevator, a level platform likely made of wood that could carry up to 100 tons of stone at a time thanks to the force of the water. According to the experts, the jet of water could be controlled so that the shaft could be emptied, ready to be reused for another load of stone. Potentially, the water could be blocked at the base of the pyramid's shaft like some kind of plug before being unleashed when the next load was in place. It sounds like a complex thing to have come to fruition 4,700 years ago, but our entire past is lost to history. What do you guys think about this new theory? Check out the published paper below, and as always, guys, thank you for watching. One.